Martin developed PKI 20 years ago. And PKI had real, no real application in the US. Uh, but in Brazil, given the legal construct, being able to authenticate and quote unquote digitally notarize every transaction uh, from an email exchange, from a legal document, to swiping your bus card on the bus, CertiSign powers. A massive company now that dominates the Brazilian market. And the last company, Jackby, is a company that came out of Monterrey um, that built a set of Java applets and tools for the enterprise mashup business. Uh, before Ruby existed, uh, people had to go find libraries, and these guys provided libraries. This company was started by a phenomenal entrepreneur named Luis de Rechin, who took the front office of the company, moved it to the US, signed partnerships and deals with folks like Forbes and others, and left back office in Monterrey. The company is still doing well and has raised over $20 million in the past 10 years. I eventually got called away from Washington DC and uh, with a chance to move to New York with a much bigger fund. I joined this fund called Steel Point Capital Partners, which was about a $300 million fund. We managed about 40 investments while I was there. Uh, these are a variety, some of the logos that we dealt with. Um, most of these companies up here are generating sales of anywhere from 10 to $300 million. Some of them are now public. Um, uh, some are doing better than others. To highlight a few, uh, although the fund was primarily domestic focused, in large part because consumer and retail is very much a local business, at least was historically, as was media marketing. Two of the companies that we found globally were first Workshare, which is a company that came out of the UK uh, and built a really cool software product that 99% of the world's law firms use. So if you send a legal document to a lawyer and they send you back a marked up copy of that legal document, that is a Workshare software product. It was, a group, it was a company that came out of the UK, had a hard time finding capital in the UK. Most of the large law firms are based in the US. So with our capital, they relocated to the US and built a big business. The other company is a company called Atempo, which came out of France. Tempo is a storage software business that had dominated 100% of the French market. But the French market's really small, 50 million people. So they wanted to move to the US and tackle the market in the US. They moved to Palo Alto and became the largest provider of backup and storage software systems for the Apple and Peace Apple market, which, as everyone knows here, has boomed in the past five, six years. There's also some of the other consumer products that are kind of fun and global. I believe Naked Juice is a global business. Tasty Delight is a low-calorie low ice cream business that's now expanded outside of the US. Um, and Kid Robot, uh, if anybody knows Paul Frank, Kid Robot's a similar brand to that, kind of urban, and if uh, they have some distribution in Asia. While at Steel Point, I launched something called NYCVC, which is the Association of Venture Investors in New York, representing about 125 different VC investors with offices in New York. I left Steel Point in 2009 and started to work on two of my own funds, Entrepreneurs Roundtable Accelerator and Revel Partners. I'm going to start with Revel since it's probably less relevant. Revel is a growth expansion stage venture fund focused on companies in ad tech. Ad tech is a 30 to 70 billion dollar market, which is the plumbing of how that ad gets from an advertiser's dollars to that display ad on your computer screen or that video ad on your com computer screen. All those things that nobody pays attention to but it's the way a lot of websites are currently monetized today. We typically invest one to two million dollars in companies. Most of these companies are generating at least hundred thousand dollars a month in revenues. So Revel is not a seed stage fund. We look for established companies that are in business and have clients. A few of these to highlight. Trax is a company that came out of Tel Aviv, Israel. Uh, really interesting social technology. They are now the leader in social intelligence, which is in the business intelligence category, pulling in social data. We invested in this company and helped them relocate their headquarters from Tel Aviv to New York, where most of their customers are based, but they left R&D in Tel Aviv, where some of the greatest engineering minds are based. 
The others are more domestic firms. SmartClip was actually the largest video network in Europe and had a small presence in the US. We helped them move into the US and then we eventually sold the company to a company called Adconian last year. So Entrepreneurs Roundtable Accelerator. How many people here know of 500 startups? Carlos was here presenting yesterday, I believe. Or Cesar was here presenting, presenting yesterday. Uh, Entrepreneurs Roundtable is an accelerator similar to 500 startups based in New York City only. We invest in 10 companies twice per year, once in January and once in June. Each of these 10 companies get a $40,000 investment. They get free office space in New York City. They get free legal services. They get free bookkeeping services. They get free accounting services. And they get free help from myself and two partners, as well as 10 retired tech CEOs who help them on a daily basis for those four months. We've invested in 50 companies over the past two years. I'm not going to walk through all of them because that would be really boring, but I want to highlight a few. Pricing Engine is a business intelligence service for digital marketers. They have customers all over the world. Public Stuff sells a, a 311 software solution to cities and municipalities. So in New York City, we have something called 911, which is what you call when you have an emergency. You're getting robbed or someone's dying. 311 was the alternative for calling when